What's up, boat friends? I'm right next to the aerial lift bridge. We are going to check out the Michipacan. Right over in this direction is the fuel dock. Here's the Michipacan, old school Laker, as you can see. We're gonna watch it depart. I'm gonna go right up on the lift bridge and give you a quick shot. I'm looking at the north and south pier, standing on the bridge. Might be some good luck for us. In the distance, I saw a bride and a groom. You can see them right there. They were taking some pictures. Over here, I see the Michipacan turning so it can head towards the area lift bridge. I'm going to keep my eye on it. Decent amount of tourists that are out. You can see on the rooftop, nobody's over there at Grandma's. A little too cold for people. Let me get you caught up here with the weather. 52 degrees here in Duluth, Minnesota. Seven mile per hour wind out of the northeast. Wind chill, 50 degrees. Visibility, 10 miles. Take a look at the center portion of the screen. You can see the bow of the Michipacan. It's heading towards us now. It did a complete turn as it left the fuel dock. Let me show you what's going on with marine traffic. Michipacan's leaving the fuel dock, as I mentioned, right here. Doing 1.9 knots. It's going to be heading out to the aerial lift bridge. That's where we are at right now. It's fully loaded with iron ore, and it's on its way to Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. I really enjoy catching the reflection of the bridge in the water. Kind of sets the tone here weather-wise. You can see on the left side, that's Isadora. It's an ocean-going vessel. Look to the right, that's American Spirit, 1,000-foot vessel. In the background, you can hear it. The aerial lift bridge is just about to start its way up. And the bridge is starting on its way up to 135 feet. I also want to share something real quick before we see the Michipacan. One of the boat friends, Corey, I cropped out most of his email here, but I wanted to share the photo that he sent. He was here with his family. Look at this beautiful picture that he took while he was here in Duluth. Thanks for the email, Corey. Got a lot of seagulls flying around here. Sure, we're going to see a seagull party here in a few minutes. Green gates are open on the North Pier. Quite a few people down there. Show you the sky here in Duluth, overcast. Give you a look at the waves. A lot of stuff has washed up here on shore after some big storms. But let's get ready for our friend, the Michipacan. People are starting to head over now after they saw the bridge go all the way up. I'm sure we're going to probably double or triple the number of people here in a few moments. Well, as the seagulls figure out who's going to sit on the pole, take a look at the light right there in the middle of the screen. That lets us know that there is a neutral current in the canal. Well, here comes the old school Laker, Mitchell Picotton. I'm going to pass along some information about this awesome vessel. Now, before I do, I think Michipacan kind of flies under the radar as far as ships that are on the top five, top ten list for everybody because we see it so frequently in Duluth. But if you really take a look at it, there's a lot to appreciate. It's a workhorse. We know that. But it has such a unique, beautiful look with that gray and the white. So we're going to look really close as it goes by. But here's some details about the Michipacan. 698 feet in length, built in 1952. It's owned by Lower Lakes Towing. Built at the Bethlehem Shipbuilding and Dry Dock Company, based out of Maryland. The original name was Elton Hoyt II, and that was from 1952 to 2003. In 1957, it was lengthened by 72 feet. 1980, it was converted to a self unloading vessel. And in 2010, its steam turbine system was replaced with a six cylinder diesel engine and a new pitch propeller. Cargo capacity 22,000 tons. And now you can see that pivot as the bow faces straight towards us as it heads to the area lift bridge. A little bit of wave action, nothing too crazy. You will see that steering pole right dead center at the top of the bow. That aids with navigation. Essentially, they're able to line things up as you look out from the pilot house. But a beautiful old school laker. And if you look on the left portion of the screen, that is the Lake Erie. That's a vessel. It's a seagoing vessel that is going to be departing at some point. You can see those cranes. But take a look at this beautiful, old-school, frequent flyer to the Twin Ports, straightening things out. Let me give you a good shot here with the lift bridge.
99.6 on a decibel reading for the Mishpacan. Just gliding through the canal, very easy. There's that steering pole that I was talking about. See the radar spinning. Scuffs and scratches on the side of the vessel. We know that this is a hard working ship for sure. See some crew members that are on deck. Got those yellow hard hats. Don't want to miss the stern. You can see the boom right there. You can also see Mission Picotten. Sitting low in the water with that iron ore on its way to Ontario. Let me show you the backside of the pilot house. Very typical of an old school Laker look. Definitely want to look at that stack as it goes by. There's the Lower Lakes company logo. We have a door that's open down below right here. We're going to look in. I do see another crew member that's right here that came out of a doorway, giving a wave to the crowd. Let's see what's behind door number one for us. Door number two. Get a shot of this rudder cutting through Lake Superior. Beautiful, beautiful look. To all my Canadian friends, there is your flag flying proudly on this great looking ship on its way to Canada. Nice bonus salute from the captain. Well, what do you think, friends? If you enjoyed that video, can you hit that like button? That'll just help people like you and I that love the ships find this channel. Also subscribe because I'm out here all the time live streaming the ships. Thanks again for watching the video. Really appreciate you. I'll be out here with the next vessel. If you're interested in additional videos, here's a few to choose from.